Hello everyone, this is Deanna, the Organized Miss, and it is Junk Journal July. I'm so excited for that. You know, I typically have done one book July uh, since I entered the planning community. And um, last year, my one book July was my junk journal. Uh, uh, those of you who kind of followed along, I had the, you know, dreaded C word that that month so I had a lot of time on my hands when I was feeling well to um to journal so I did a whole series the first time I'd done that and um for for junk journal July um and I had so much fun that I was gonna see if I could do it again this year however and thankfully I am well I'm well so that means I'm you know uh working <laughs> <laughs> uh, some and and but I'm gonna we're gonna see what we can get done here so I printed out the prompt sheet last year I made it so small and and that's fine because it fit right in my in my journal but I I kind of wanted to be bigger uh one for you know the videos but two uh, so I can read it because <laughs> you know eyes and glasses and things so uh, so I'm here to kind of do an overview and um, kind of talk through what my plan is because, as you can see, I have gathered some things, but I have not, I've not told them what my book's going to be. You know, I'm just, um, I don't know. I have some ideas, and then I have some bits and bobs, and uh, I organized and cleaned from my last um, junk journal, which I did do a flip through. I, I'll put it somewhere. Maybe I'll set it up here. So I did a flip through of it. I did not, you know, film all the things that I did because I it took me a couple months, you know, worked on it here and there. Um, I do have a couple of process videos, but I hope you enjoy that. And um, if you're following along, please, you know, always hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe, all the things I'll pop up on your feed, hopefully, uh, throughout the month. And um, if you're doing Junk Journal July, please let me know down below where I can go follow you because, you know, I just love um, following this amazing community and getting such great ideas and, um, you know, just trying new things, having fun. That's what it's all about for me. So, um, so I have my my uh my prompt list here and m last year my first prompt was i think the journal i don't know i feel like i should go get it and look at it so last year's journal turned into three signatures because again home lots of time on my hand um probably won't <laughs> won't attempt this next time this was one whole day one one prompt by itself which was so fun i'm glad i did it it was inspired by um joey defee's um envelope flapper kind of thing and and i wanted to try it and i'm so glad i did it was so much fun but <laughs> probably 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 not um and so i think my the first if i remember here we are tiny little tiny little Yes, so my prompt, it was begin, and so I I made this, but I think what I counted also as begin was just putting the to the uh, journal together. So I will go ahead and link this playlist. Um, I do think I put it all in a playlist. If I didn't, I will try to remember to go do that with my videos from last year. I did some process videos. I did a lot of, you know, flip throughs and, uh, or, you know, just the day. Uh, so I'm so excited. It was so much fun. This brings me so much joy to look at and flip back through. I may have to do that again, see if I can get inspired. But this year we have new, new uh, prompts. And I love that somebody's, you know, doing something different each day, except um, I believe Meg is doing one and 31. So, and then, you know, 29 other, other um, creators, including uh, Get Messy. Um, Art is, is co-hosting this with Meg. So if you haven't followed them, I'm assuming that you 
you do. That's why you're on my channel. You're either a planner or a journal, you know, art, media, junk journal, all the things uh, creative. Um, but if you haven't, go ahead and follow them. I will have those links also in the description box. So what am I doing? What am I doing? So I have, I use these to kind of keep track of, you know, projects until I have amassed all the things that I think I want to work on. It's my idea of a, a kit. So some things I pulled together was this is a, um, a little canvas um, journal thing I found at, I love going to the thrift store and, you know, uh, charity shops and that kind of thing and antique stores. So I got this at one of them and I just, I was like, you know what, maybe I'll learn. Maybe I'll learn to sew sti slow stitch. Is that what it's called? You know, I'll, I'll make an all fabric journal. And so that's why this is hanging out. I've never, I've not used it yet. It's, I've had it for a while. En embarrassing to say, sitting on my shelf for, you know, a couple of years. So I'm not sure. I'm like trying to make myself use these things, you know. Um, this is the cover I use to house my my journal in. I used it last year and then um, it's just a good way to kind of keep things kind of protected until I figure out how I'm going to bind it and uh, you know that way I can move pages in and out. So I probably will definitely do that again because it hasn't been out since last July. Um, and then I just went through and gathered some things. These were actually the pages that I had taken out of this. So these were stitched in using this uh, thread and then I delicately unthreaded it, took it all apart, added some, these are uh, uh, TN, you know, elastics so that I could slide in and out what I'm working on. And then I used the thread, I just tied it back in there without the pages so, you know, I could use it as a, um, you know, keep using it like this. So I have these pages and they're so nice. They're like a little cotton recycled paper. So I did buy this new several years ago. And every now and then I'll take a page and use it. But this is like, I use it sparingly. Um, so I thought, well, maybe I would use, you know, one of these as the base for my journal this year. Um, just a scrap that I had played around with, never ended up using, but I thought maybe these are very, you know, much my vibe. Um, this was, I had started putting it together and playing around with it. Um, used some mixed media, uh, made a digital printable with this, you know, sunflower poppy, uh, napkin, you know, all the things. So I had to make a sample. I scanned it in first, obviously. So I have it as a digital. I could maybe get out and play with that. This is kind of like inspiration um, piece and layered things up. And it's just, you know, a page here and then another envelope. Love to alter envelopes. And so I had just grungied this up and I had done, um, a page last year with one of these. So I ended up with like three of them or something, two or three. So this again, just collaged and like, I don't know, you can see that. I embossed it and watercolored it and did all the thing, decoupage. And I really love the way it feels. <laughs> um, and then it's got a little something I just stuck in there, you know, like journal card to I guess remind me that that's what this is a little hidey hole so I have this I thought can I use this in there can I use it as inspiration can I use the digital I don't know just I'm all over the place with where I'm going with this no ideas um okay so this was the so there were three inserts and again I have pulled pages out and used them not a lot um and I thought you know maybe this would be I think I thought this could be my my um signature for this month um this is just a brown paper bag that i had reinforced 
and turned into a you know a page, added some washi. I thought, well, maybe. So this is kind of at the top of the list of ideas, I guess. Um, so this little mm, fairy, you know, these, these were at our local, you know, charity shop. There was a handful of them. So I just bought them all. They were like 99 cents. Someone had donated, obviously, their, their cards, which I said, yes, I would love to purchase those. So pretty. Um, just beautiful. So there were several in there. And where they are, you know, different colors, blue, green, orange, pink, yellow. So I like this one kind of going with what I, you know, have going on here. I stuck this in there because I thought maybe, maybe that would be a good like a uh, focal point for my cover. I don't know. Again, I literally just kind of stuck some things in here when I was cleaning this mess over here that had been from my last project. So now it's empty and ready for, for more bits. Um, then this was also from that same charity shop, different day. And it was just a piece of, you know, uh, like crazy quilt art or something. And I was like, oh, this has to go in something. It's not, it's not big enough to like be a cover, but I guess it could be this way. I don't know. I don't think these are going to go together. So I don't know, but I have it some old um, wrapping paper that I maybe use pieces of, you know, have not much, haven't used much of it. It's just sitting around waiting to be used. So I think it was like birthday, wedding, spring, something. Again, embarrassed to say how long it's been sitting around, but probably since the beginning of my um, junk journaling journey. And I would have you know, said, ooh, I'll wrap a present in this and then I can hoard it for my for my crafts. So that's what I've got here. And this was, I now this I genuinely thought I was actually going to make because I'm a grandma at heart. Since I was born, I've just looked forward to when I get to be a grandma. Crazy. But my grandmother raised me, so, you know, it makes sense. Um, it was clearly at a garage sale or something um and so it's all still in there because I actually never used it so this is as you can tell I mean I'm sure it was old when I got it like it was somebody's that they never used but um it's also been in my pile of things for way too long um and it's just an iron-on. It, it is an iron-on. So I, I could um, actually iron it on to, you know, they have like printer fabric or um, printer, yeah, printer fabric. Fabric that's you um, print onto and then you can sew it. Um, I guess you stick the, I don't really remember how it works, but I've done it before. Um, you, you run it through your printer. So I thought I could just iron this on that or paper or I could you know what as I'm talking through this I don't know that I will but I could maybe lay this open well it just about fits so that is an option right I could and then it could be like the front I could lay, line it up to where this is kind of like the front I mean it's kind of cute yeah all right I have not settled on this, but I'm liking it. Obviously the back, oh wait, it does go, wow. It does pretty much all go, I just have to decide, do I wanna keep the handle or the the base there? But yeah, just, yeah, probably like that. So, yes, probably this. I'm, even if I don't, even if I don't use this yet, I'm trying to actually, you know, downsize my, my, um, you know, bits and bobs. And if I don't, I'm just making myself use them. And if I don't, I've got to just get rid of it. I've got to recycle it, you know, uh, for example, as I was cleaning all of these things off and organizing my, my bits, I came across some of these 
So I came across some of these left over. This was a note, you know, that I couldn't throw away even though the writing got messed up on the inside. Um, but I used these and we gave out little treats to everyone with a note. So I saved all the cutoffs. Is that ridiculous? <laughs> From all of them. So I went through and I said, throw these away or use them right now. So I literally had a make session on my table and I used my paper weaving idea and I just wove them all together. Um, you know, I tried to have a rhyme and a reason, like the cool tones and things that went with them on this side and, you know, warmer. Try to like a gradient. I don't know. But I glued them to paper and I made a little hinge so it could be a signature if it wanted. Um, and then I still had a couple of pieces left over. So I wanted them to be about the same size. And so I had these left over. So I made little things. And then all these polka dots were in a bag of these things, little die cut things that I had cut out when I was first learning to use my Cricut. I was just cutting things out that I thought I would use. And I have used some, and I use different colors of scrapbook and stuff. So I have a, a bunch of little bags like this with different, you know, sorted by color. And I said, use them or throw them away. <laughs> or only keep really what you love. But I saved this, which I'm still gonna throw a lot of it away. But I went through and I pulled out the polka dots and I thought how fun to, at first I was gonna try to cover up, you know, the little dot, little, you know, the things that showed you it was salvage. But then I was like, eh, you know, if I don't get them all covered, that's part of the fun of this. Um, there was no pattern. It was just put them down, kind of fun. Um, and so I had done that. And then I realized this one just organically fell like this. And it says life moments or something. It's kind of got cut off a little. But I love it. So this isn't typically my style, I would say, at all. But it was fun to make. And um, just, just sitting here with how do I use it up or throw it away. So this is you know, something I don't know, honestly. You just saw my color palette. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it. So that's it. I'm ready for Junk Journal July, 2023.